Hey, what's up everyone? So, it's been a while since I've made a video and, well, my head bobbling is kind of why. Um, you know, I've, since January, I've been dealing with this and uh, it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> it sucks to feel like I'm being electrocuted all the time. Um, ugh. But I wanted to make a quick video, not gonna be long, super short. Um, I'm alive and I'm in good spirits. Um, and, and I, for the people that I've canceled, you know, I canceled the 30 broadcast, which sucked. Just sending the email sucked. Um, but then just for people that have booked meetings with me and I've had to, I've had to change, uh, on you, you know, and reschedule. I'm really sorry. It's not what I like to do because I know how unprofessional it is, but uh, the thing about it is the more I talk, the worse this gets. But then if I hear you talking, it um it hurts, and especially coming through speakers. Ugh. I do better face to face, but even that is tough. And the other reason is because I can feel everyone's energy. Like I can feel cell phone notifications and it ringing, even when it's silent, like silent ringing, I can feel. Not as intense though, not as intense. Helicopters, oh God, helicopters are awful. Anyway, the point is I feel everyone's energy and even when I go in crowds, I feel everything. And why church? Why church needs to have so much freaking bass in those crazy microphones? Oh, like it, it's painful. Like even in the lobby, it's like sensory overload. Holy crap. Anyway, that's a side subject. I'm not, I am complaining. Should have left a comment card. Anyway, um, the point is that all the therapy I've done, I don't need, I, I mean, if somebody has a recommendation that's new and innovative, please suggest it. But the point, the truth is that I've tried so many different types of therapies, in therapy, doing all kinds of weird stuff, basic stuff, and it's not working. The one thing that works is laying on ice bags in the dark in my room with no sound. And I'm a hyperactive mother trucker. And that is not the kind of life I want to live. So whatever I do, I deal with the consequences for it. And it sucks. But I also know that God is using it for good. And the reason I know that is because since January, I have not disassociated. Now, not disassociating means I also got to experience emotions like a normal human being for the first time in my life, and that's not fun because 45 years of my life disassociating from every painful thing, even joyful things made me disassociate. Um, and you know, that doesn't help. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought, sorry. My head was shaking. Um, disassociating, I was talking about, dis I'm not disassociating. And so now, um, and that's, that's a, that's a good thing because that means I, you know, get to function at a more normal level than I ever have before. And that's a blessing and, and, and getting to learn what pain, like emotional pain feels like, um, like real emotional pain and feeling hurt and knowing what a, a broken heart is and those things like, in my Freaking phone started ringing. Sorry. Ugh. This happens too. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. So, this is one of the other reasons that it's really tough to be around people is because when their phones ring or they get cell phone notifications, I feel it. So, I'm grateful that I don't disassociate anymore because that allows me to strengthen my mind and, uh, but because it takes a strong mind to be able to deal with, you know, feeling like you're being electrocuted all the time. 
And it's so crazy because I'm dumb enough to believe that God has a purpose for this and it sucks. And I have to force myself every day to see the truth through the lies that come to my brain. Because there's a lot. There's a lot of lies that come in my brain every day. And, you know, with as much that's been taken from me, from this, I've gained so much more. And that's what I gotta remind myself. Because even though I've lost a family, even though I've lost so many opportunities professionally, even though I've stopped broadcasting again, the bigger picture of what I was created to do is happening. <laughs> That's why you see the post. Like, that's why you, you know, like, read about what we're doing on our platform. It's not our platform, it's what we're doing in the world and what we're teaching and why. Like, if I didn't know that it mattered for the world, I'd just go start smoking meth and die. Because what would be the point? I mean, seriously. I don't do drugs and act the way I used to. I mean, I thank God for that, but it's because God gave me a purpose that was something I love more than drugs. I, 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 that, that's what sobered me up, is finding something that I love more than drugs. And that, that's God. And so... You know, when we think that God is taking things from us, maybe our perception's all screwed up. Because maybe God is removing things to create room for what belongs there. Or to remove all distractions so that you can focus on the reason that you were created for to begin with. <sighs> so, that's the video. I'm done. But I just, I wanted to check in because, I mean, I, I post a lot of video content, you know, and to not do video, it feels like, I mean, I, I don't know who this is for. Maybe it was just for me because I needed to do, I felt like I, I like doing video. I like talking on camera. It's fun, especially when you get paid for it. <laughs> it's a lot more fun. Anyway, well, actually, that's not always true because get, just getting to talk from the heart is sometimes the best therapy in the world. And maybe that was the purpose of this. I don't know. But here's the thing. Everyone's got to deal with something. Like... I know people have way worse situations than me. My situation is actually pretty fabulous. <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. I mean, I'm like sitting out here by a pool in October and it's 70 degrees in Oklahoma of all places. And I'm with my family, my blood family. So, I mean, that's amazing. That's a blessing. But there's people going through way worse health conditions than me. My situation sucks, but you know what? God wouldn't have given it to me if I couldn't handle it. You were created to overcome every giant in your path. Every. And I also believe that God will use anything you surrender to God. <sighs> like, say, use this. For your good, for my good, for the good of others? Pretty sure that's a prayer he'll answer. Anyway, actually, 
Hold on, I gotta say this. I have no idea if God has a gender. It bothers me saying his, but I grew up saying it. I have no idea. Like, how is energy, spirit, how does it have a gender? I don't understand. Because then, if it's him, and everything, if we're made in the... Oh, oh boy, I'm going on a tangent here. That means we have to take into account Mother Earth. Like, if he's father, who's mother? Because if we're made in the image, isn't it you, you follow the design? So there's got to be Mother Earth or God's energy and has no gender, right? I don't know. It's a question. Don't persecute me. Actually, <laughs> there's plenty of other things to come after me about. If you're upset about that, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I may not do a video for a while after this, but anyway, blessings to you all. Keep reading the blogs. Go check out the platform. Have an amazing team. They're doing amazing things. It's about to get better. So excited about what's about to come. Like, my dreams have been coming true while losing everything. That's God. It's amazing. Anyway, 11 minute video. Maybe the shortest one I've ever done.